Yo, what's going on, you guys? It is Master Nicholas121 here, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to master this very cool game named Flood Escape 2. Now, if you guys don't know how this game works, basically, you play in groups of 12 per server. Obviously, if you're okay, that's more than probably around 30 or 50 players. So, we're not in the chaos server, we're not running the wrong one. So, basically, we have to escape floods. And, um, yeah, here are some tips right now of how to master this game of Flood Escape 2. Okay, step one, if you guys are new to this game, here are the wall jumps. Wall jumps, and then diving, shift, shift, and surface as well. So, basically, we have to go in here. And then, I'll be back once a new round has started. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty, guys, a new round has started. So, why are we originally doing these top rounds? Is I turn off camera effects. Now, the reason I'm turning off camera effects is because the way I jump so I'm not really a big fan of. So basically, it's just the default jumping system that Roblox itself has. And also, yeah, that's what Roblox has. And if you hear that noise, aside from pressing the buttons and the sound effects, then you got the button. I think you guys get what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Also, there may be some trollers in this game, so just be aware, just go for the buttons, even if someone else is going for them. Just go for the buttons, even if someone's going for them. Alright, so yeah. Yeah, just go for the buttons, in case somebody gets some trolling in the game. Maybe in the server. So yeah, that's tip number one. Okay, now. Now, tip number two, you can actually hold, hold space. To climb ladders faster. That's another tip and trick I learned. So, yeah. Alright, fellas, so trick number three. Um, it's recommended if you play this game in shift lock. Or you shift lock it every now and then so you can get out of like, tough, tough areas where it's like. Um, you just have to like use shift lock to get out of here. It's kind of like that. So, using shift lock is really useful in case you want to do that glitch. You go fast while um, you're sideways, jumping sideways. That's kind of what I mean. With it. And yeah, that's basically how you do shift lock. If you guys are living on a lock, then um, to turn on shift lock, go to settings and then you go to um yeah, this is a new system. I completely forgot where the controls are. Oh wait, it's right here. I go. Okay, I wonder if there's like a shift, 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 shift. Yeah, right here. Yeah, mouse lock. Yeah, you just have to press shift. I think they removed um. The like shift lock option on and off. Just just to like make it easier for players to do that. I believe that's why they kinda of do it. Alright guys, so the next short kind of uh, trick. Yeah, I already said it because I said your words. But the next step is just to do shortcuts. Now, there are some shortcuts in this kind of level, for, for example, Snowy Peaks. If you don't do that, that guy already got the money. So, yeah, okay, I'll make a shortcut right here with my shift lock. There we go. And over here, get over the other buttons. And then to save some time, that girl already got the button for the sock. But uh, yeah, okay. It's better to cut short. Nice job, on like stick one. Thank you so much for the walk. I actually do kind of need it, so thank you so much. Okay, guys, so the tricks that you learned are now gonna go into the back to these kind of maps. For example, Gloomy Manor. Let's do a shortcut right here, right here, right here, here, here. 
and then the ladder jump, and then the Yoshi Flock. Uh, shortcut, short, uh, yeah. And then, I don't get why, but I don't get why. And then, yeah. Up here, there are some uh, group buttons. I don't get why they are, but, okay, yeah. As I fell here, don't worry, I can get back up. Sh sure, okay. You have to be really lucky on this one. Oh, yeah, shortcut, and there we go. Now, there are some hard jumps in these kind of maps, you know, once you can do it. Oh. Alright, so let's get this button over here. Yeah, I just did a shortcut, shift lock. There we go. Shortcut. And then someone else has to be a button. Shift lock. I don't think the ladder jump it. Okay, yeah, it works there. Yeah, we just have to be careful not to fall. Shift lock. And, you, and if you want to, guys, you can use first person for this. I wouldn't recommend it just because, um, yeah, other people do it. Also, a trick that I didn't mention you can put on ghost players if you're planning on using first person. And also, turn off um, arrows. Or, I don't know if that's how I say it. But yeah. Okay, so let's see what the next insane map is. Alright, beneath the ruins. Alright, let's go, let's go. And here's a really good time to use um, first person. Okay, and there we go. Okay. Okay, just wait for that guy to get the button. I don't know. He's going to troll something. Yeah. It just depends on your luck, maybe. Okay, yes. Don't go too early. Yeah, wall jumps. Yeah, there you go. Then ladder, shortcuts, there we go. Shift lock and shortcut. Alright, shift lock and then shortcuts. Yeah, that guy did a shortcut. He died. Okay, I'm the last player alive, so I gotta go back on this one. Alright, so now just make it past still up there. There are gonna be maps where insane maps are just gonna be difficult. Like, yeah, I did shift lock. So these kind of jumps are kind of hard. Okay, ladder jump. Then, and then we made it. So, I mean. And there's um, one more insane map. Let's see what the next one's gonna be. Alright. Dark side facility. Okay, basically you can't stop on this one. Okay, yeah. Shift lock is very useful on this level. Shortcut. Shift lock. And then here's a really hard jump. Okay. Uh, yeah, just go for the button just in case this guy fails. Yeah, okay, uh, shortcut. And there we go. Yeah. Oh no, I'm the last part alive again. Oh no.
ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, yeah, the guy gets a bun, and then, yeah, Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention. There's so many, like, yeah. Alright. And that's basically how you master Photoscape 2. If you find this tutorial helpful, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Say you know what post future videos go live and all that stuff. Also, if you guys are um, on like entry in Discord, make sure to join my Discord server and link in the description below if you guys do want to go to check that out. And I'll see you guys next time. It's you know, some Nicholas Wanted One here, and I'll see you in the next video or the like the live stream or like whatever. And yeah, goodbye guys.